My name is Jost von Marburg. I serve the Emperor as an inquisitor of the Ordo Xenos, devoted to the destruction of those species who oppose the rightful domination of mankind over the galaxy. To that end, I have spent decades of my life studying one of the most elusive and mysterious space hulks. The Forsaken Doom. A name spoken in terror by starship crews. The shadow in the night. A myth. A horror. And all too real. Drifting randomly in and out of the warp for millennia, this gargantuan agglomeration of wrecks has been the grave of countless space marines. Ultimately, each chapter's defeat was lost to the ages and forgotten, leaving the Imperium in ignorance. For the Forsaken Doom is the lair of grave perils. The most dangerous of them, the gene stealers that swarm and multiply in grotesque profusion. The vanguard of the Tyranid threat, infesting ships and planets, spreading like an insidious plague. These creatures are merciless, ravenous monsters. They form a collective body of highly evolved intelligence, driven by a common will for the extermination of all life unlike them. Though some of its parts are far more ancient, the first contemporary records of the Forsaken Doom date back to the beginning of the 41st millennium, when a party of ultramarines boarded the Great Hulk on a mission of purification. What fate awaited them there has never been revealed. Until now. Benaria squad to command. We have boarded the derelict. Confirm. Brother Sergeant, we detect multiple life forms inbound. Acknowledged. This vile wreck is infested with the Xenos. We will purge it. We are steel and doom. The arrival of the Adeptus Astartes awakened the brood. Slowly but surely, the gene stealers were emerging from their sleep, their synapses saturated by a feral thirst for blood. The biological communal intelligence of the Xenos was about to clash with the doctrinal will of the Ultramarines.
Because it has fallen, he will be avenged on a crag. weapon. The bearer was taken by those living nightmares. Vandarius is lost. We are assuming command. Vengeance shall be ours, brothers. Stand by to deploy Scorpion turrets. This is Squad Mithraea. Acknowledge. We may have found a way to destroy this section of the Hulk. Do you read? As the fight grew in intensity, more monsters were stirred to join the fray. Unknown biodivergent gene stealers emerged to engulf the Ultramarines. These biomorphic monsters were to be the dark curse of the Forsaken Doom. Cunning and brutal, the Gene Stealers slaughtered Squad Vandarius to the last man. For the Ultramarines, it was a setback that needed immediate reprisal. But the brood was now fully active, as the warriors of the 13th chapter would learn to their great cost.
Rod Mithraea had found a weakness in the structure of the derelict. An ancient network of plasma energy conduits was still functional, and their destruction would likely split the space hulk into fragments. Meanwhile, their battle brothers in Squad Vandarius worked to activate their sentry turrets. But the gene stealers were not idle in the face of these invaders. Lurking close to the marines in the corners and recesses of the wrecks, a rare type of biomorphic gene stealer was about to launch a crushing assault. Entering an old vessel. What pretty trucks the green skins may have left behind. How could such a disarray ever function as a starship? Orcish contractions are unstable. Do not open fire unless you have a clear line of sight. Explosive materials and fungal growths are everywhere. Perhaps you could turn that to our advantage. Use them to kill the Xenos. Septimus reporting in. These energy conduits are heavily armored. There is no other option. We need to destroy them with a shot from the plasma cannon. Understood, brother sergeant. Plasma cannon stands ready to cleanse and burn. We are steel and doom. <laughs> <laughs>